Hey everyone, this is Julian from the Binary Lab and I wanted to announce to you a very interesting piece of information that I received uh, when I was going through my YouTube comments. Well, so just going through the comments, one of my regular subscribers uh, shared with me this. So I'm not a typical fan of ForexPeaceArmy.com because basically it's like crybaby's paradise. A lot of people who don't actually go through broker terms and conditions go there to complain about why they cannot receive money or let's say why they lost money this and that when it really was their own fault but in this particular case this post actually archives um, actual news and actual incidents and that's what I wanted to share with you so <clears throat> first and foremost uh, you may have looked on my YouTube channel and I have made videos about bank debinary and I just wanna show that to you alright so I have a video here how SISEC regulated bank the binary broker goes around legally ripping clients off their money okay so if you haven't watched this video go ahead and check that out the link is in the video description down below meanwhile coming back to this okay so it says right here bank the binary spammed the FPA and made its own okay uh, so this uh, this was a spamming incident um, another one was uh, another spamming incident in 2012 okay but uh, more importantly let's check out this one first bandy binary's license in Belize has been revoked for non-compliance by the Belize IFSC so click on this link IFSC is a regulation International Financial Services Commission in Belize is hereby notified for general information that BDB services Belize limit of domain name bandy binary with his registered office at 5 Cork Street, Belize City, Belize, CA is no longer licensed by the International Financial <coughs> Services Commission of Belize due to non-compliance to some conditions on the annex attached to the license granted for trading in financial and commodity-based derivative instruments and other securities. All investors and other persons concerned are advised to take note and exercise caution. Okay, now let's get back to this post. Um, okay, this is about advertising, so never mind. Now, let's look at this one. S Bank the Binary is on the SEC's pause list. By the way, if you're looking at this video, go ahead and share this post so that people know. Okay, so the SEC pause list. Um, these are entities that have been subject to investor complaints. And SEC is of course is in the USA. And now we're just gonna scroll down bank the binary right there. So they actually do have an office in Trump Tower. They also have the other website bbinary.com and they are now on the pause list. Just take note. Okay. Let's get back to get back to the previous page. 2013 CFTC filed charges against Bank the Binary. It's fairly old news. It's skip, skip over that. It's FPA Traders Duty Court uh, verdict against Bank the Binary. Let's skip over that. We'll go to more present ones. Uh, okay, Bank the Binary added to A6 list as Australian uh, Security Investment Commission uh, list of unlicensed companies you should not deal with. Okay, click here to verify. So let's click on that one. It's more recent. It's last year. So they have made unsolicited calls or sent emails about investing, financial advice, credit loans. And this kind of rings a bell because I in the past have also received phone calls from, from uh, so-called regulated brokers that I, I believe I've never ever signed up for. So I, I, I believe they're actually purchasing mail lists from elsewhere and they're just uh, slamming customers on the phone. These are the informations. And the various uh, beneficiaries. Now let's get back to the the post. <clears throat> okay, it's the third traders caught guilty verdict against Bank the Binary. Sisec. Okay, so not just not just the IFSC, but also Sisec. They have fined Bank the Binary three hundred and fifty thousand. Click here to verify. The settlement is three hundred fifty. Yeah. 
when providing investment and ancillary services to clients. Uh, compliant conditions on the authorization was granted and I believe this involves trading on customers accounts or I cannot be sure of that but I believe I believe that that is probably the case and also with regards to hard selling during the withdrawal procedure and uh, Oren Lauren CEO of Bandy Mari has threatened to sue the Forest Peace Army over content of forums and views and wants to control but it's unhappy class I'll say about him is I'm willing to use legal blackmail to accomplish this so they try to blackmail this website <laughs> good luck so based on the traders court I mean traders court yeah that is when uh, there are representatives from here trying to mediate stuff charges found a CFTC <coughs> A large number of complaints in the forums and reviews, and attempted blackmail by the CEO. FPA now considers this to be a scam. Okay, so there are uh, people are recommended against opening accounts of Bank Binary. Do check out my YouTube video on this one, how uh, to find out the whole works of how they they try to uh, put people through duress and 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 uh, you know rip people off. Okay, try to send you fancy informations and uh, later try to compulse you into taking a package with them and then when they actually lose people's money they start to get all defensive so check out this video the full information is right there now uh, let's get back to this one uh, I wanna just go over some of the comments and I want you to I want you to see how this is no different from from some of the stuff that I've put up in my YouTube video this one over here so um, Okay, this one is something else. Let's check this one out. So he invested thirty thousand and five hundred for safe trading, so to speak, on a guarantee safe trading. And then uh, so they talked about investing insured trading, and then uh, promised a certain return. And then he was told that it's just a regular bank. But the the uh, you know they, they they pay a monthly interest that is way above the board, and if that's the case, maybe it is because maybe it is because uh, the broker is running out of running low on funds, and so they want to try to procure funds to pay other traders out. Well, it could be. So this guy called him up and wanted to trade the account manager. And he traded in chunks of twenty six hundred and leaving his account with seven hundred forty nine dollars. Sixteen out of twenty two trades were lost, and that that took just seventy one minutes. So he he defended himself, saying that he had correlation signals and retracement, he's trying to put everything right. So uh, subsequently, he was he was saying that uh, there's a degree of market error, everything can be fixed. But this is just the usual story. I've mentioned this before. They will always bludgeon your account, screw it up, and claim that it was a mistake and would like you to uh, help them uh, deposit more money so that they can help recover your account. The same things will happen over and over again. Okay, um, this is another open roughly 60,000 euro in 30 minutes. Uh, it was lost, okay. Uh, you never withdraw a cent and they'll trade you down to nothing. When you start this account for 250, after 10 minutes you ask for 5,000. And you tested the withdrawal and you sons, uh, son, saw the funds are posted for 3 days, not 48 hours. Okay, that, that's fine because different countries and everything, let's be realistic. Uh, but that's fine, it, it makes sense. So you added 5,000 and then once the deposit was done, the account manager asked him to add another 5000 to get a 100% bonus. Oh, this is going to lock him in for sure, right? So, he was smart. He passed the bonus. And he started to uh, trade, okay? And then, uh, they gained some money following the broker's advice. And then he asked him for the other 5000 So, he started to wait. Didn't want to get the bonus. And then another withdrawal. And then... Subsequently, 
Uh, he was asked if he was going to close his account. Uh, he wanted to test the system. Five days later, it was posted by his credit card. Um, all right, this guy, this guy got a little bit lucky. Oh, I see, I see. This is actually a scam review. So it's a fake review. Check the IP addresses, it's fake. So it's fairly believable, and then this was a fake review. I mean, what kind of broker does fake reviews? So, um, you can check this out. Yeah, a lot of the same kind of stuff. I've had people tell me about this, but you know, when I look at these reviews, I found out it's really, really bad. So, you know, if you guys are um, looking out for brokers, there's definitely one broker you should never work with. I would rather you should, uh, if, if you want something that is regulated um, and uh, operates in a proper way, highly recommend you look at 24 Option instead. Uh, 24 Option is a broker that I use when I do my daily sessions with the Binary Lab. And uh, if you're interested in finding out more about what we do in the Binary Lab community, the daily webinars, uh, trading indicators that you can download, and traders chat and so on, Go check out uh, my other videos on this channel and visit my Facebook page as well. Meanwhile, if you find this video useful, and please share the note so that more people can be saved from this, from this um, you know, terrible scam. Bye everyone.